Hi Year 8, this is a video all about rock and roll dance. It's um, the beginning of your unit, so you are going to learn about um, what the unit's going to entail, the sorts of key skills that you're going to learn, a little bit of contextual information about rock and roll, and we will also have a look at how you are being assessed in this unit. Let's just recap our prior learning. So we have previously looked at capoeira dance and also we have had a look at contemporary um, contemporary technique and chance choreography. So that's what you've studied so far. This unit we will be learning about rock and roll as I've already said. And in the future you're going to be learning about using the stimulus of World War One to create choreography. So that's just um, a little recap on what we've been doing and a little insight into what we're going to be doing. So thinking about how this unit's going to link to your wider learning, it's going to deepen your learning because you're going to gain an understanding and demonstrate the stylistic features of another dance style. And you're going to use key performance and choreographic skills dance terminology, which is actually from the AQA GCSE specification. So um, we're going to be learning quite challenging vocabulary that we are going to use. And it's going to broaden your learning outside of dance because you're going to learn about the origins of rock and roll and how it was born in the 1950s post World War II. For each unit you can go on to frog and you can have a look at the key um, performance or choreographic skills that you will be studying. So I'd like you to try that now please. Uh, you can pause the video after I've explained where to find it. You log on to frog, you type into the search bar key stage 3 dance key skills, click on the year 8 tab and scroll to rock and roll. So I'd like you to pause the video now and have a look at the key skills that you will be learning and also have a look at the definitions. You will need to learn these definitions over the unit so now is a good time to start um, trying to learn these. There is a great documentary on YouTube which you can watch the whole thing if you like. It's called Rock and Roll the Early Days um, but for the purpose of, of this we're just going to have a look at two little sections okay and you're going to need to write down the key facts that you learn in the first little video and key features of the style. Rock and roll is a river of music. Rock and roll music is an art form. Rock and roll is here to stay. She rock to the east, she rock to the west, but she's the girl that I love best. Do the food, oh Rudy. Do the food, oh Rudy. Do the food, oh Rudy. In the early 1950s, popular music belonged to the realm of wholesome white performers, such as Perry Como, Doris Day, and Gail Storm. Dance with me tonight. 
The songs they sang were designed to be as innocent and inoffensive as possible. For the most part, this music reflected the taste of a growing white middle class, enjoying the fruits of post-war prosperity and progress. Oh, won't you dance with me? Please dance with me. Oh, dance with me. When you hold me, hold me tight. Oh, Papa, won't you dance with me? Tonight. <laughs> Talk to me, Daddy. The 50s also saw the advent yeah, of a new I social mean. class, the teenager, with more leisure time and money to spend yeah. than ever before. Yeah, man. Bored with the current hit yeah, parade, okay. young people began tuning their radios to stations that played a more exciting kind of music. Black rhythm and blues. Gradually, records by the top black artists began showing up on jukeboxes where white kids congregated. I heard the news, there's a good rock in the night. Rhythm and Blues was a combination of several black musical styles. From jazz and big band music, it took its rhythm and beat. From blues and gospel, its emotional intensity. By the end of 1956, rock and roll had created a revolution that could not be stopped. Teenagers everywhere went rock and roll crazy. You know my temperature rising, the jukebox blowing a fuse. My heart beating rhythm and my soul keep a singing the blues. I roll over Beethoven, tell Tchaikovsky the news. I got the rockin' pneumonia, I need a shot of rhythm and blues. I caught the rollin' off a writer sitting down at a rhythm review. I roll over Beethoven, they rockin' in two by two. Well, if you feel it and like it, go get your lover that reel and rock it. Roll it over, then move on up just a trifle further, then reel and rock with one another. Roll over Beethoven, dig these rhythm and blues. So stylistic features mean the key actions or key characteristics of a specific dance style. So some of the key features that you might have um, written down are sharp, fast, precise, bouncy, energetic. Have a think about what others you have got. And I would also like you to have a think, and this is sort of an extra challenge task here, but can you compare the features with contemporary dance? So have a think about the unit that you've just done and think about the differences in style between contemporary and rock and roll. Let's have a look at rock and roll style because fashion um, at this time was really interesting. And uh, when you see rock and roll dances performed, you will see um, 
the dancers wearing these kinds of skirts, the jackets that the, the men are wearing in the pictures. So do have a look. You can do a little bit of your own research if you like. And actually for this unit, we do encourage you to bring in costumes. So if you do have um, any of these skirts or if you can um, get hold of any of them or have like a little neck scarf for your performance, it might really enhance your final um, assessment piece. Assessment criteria for rock and roll. So in terms of the grade boundaries, the highest grade or level that you can get in this unit is a 4.1, which means that you would be hitting the assessment criteria at an exceptional level. You might also be hitting the criteria at a strong level or a sound level, which means good or at a more limited level. So let's break it down so that you know exactly what we are looking out for. So we want you to we want to see you um, demonstrating appropriate mental skills in preparation for performance. You should know what these are because you will have had a look on the frog site at the key skills for this unit and you will see the definitions on there. We would also like to see that your choreography uses contact, contact work for rock and roll. We would like to see that your choreography has a beginning, middle and end and that it has a climax. So a, a big, exciting moment within your dance, which is the climax. We would also like to see you using peer feedback throughout the unit and using subject specific terminology that you have learned not only in this unit, but in previous units in dance. And the extra challenge is to use expressive skills um, and in particular projection and focus within your performance. And we would like to see smooth transitions within your performance if you're aiming for that exceptional level. So that means lots of practice in order to get those transitions really smooth and have a fantastic rock and roll dance. Please make sure this work is completed for next lesson. I'm just going to recap over the key tasks. So um, you will need to have looked at what skills you are learning at. Um, learning within the unit so remember that you need to go on the frog site I do speak about that earlier on in the video and um, tell you the process that you need to go through in order to get onto there you also need to uh, come to the lesson prepared to talk about some of the key rock and roll facts that you will have learnt from the video and what some of the key stylistic features are of rock and roll dance. So please do bring that along to next lesson. We're really looking forward to, um, to doing this unit with you, rock and roll. It's a really, really fun and exciting unit. Remember as well that you can start preparing costume if you wish. See you all soon.